for being a little bit impossible. Anyway, as I am introduced, my name is Manje Kim. I'm from Korea. I'm working for the Department of Urban Planning. That's why I became to be interested in urban regeneration. And well, during uh, my research, and I realized that ethical consideration is hardly addressed in this subject. And that's why I'm going to present today with this subject. Why? Because I have problems with reading, reading glasses. And I first introduce a theoretical uh, debate on ethics and ethical theory. And Peter Singer, who is very famous and provides a comprehensive overview of ethical thinking and Jim Jacobs also emphasizes the negative impacts of the urban radio. Uh, David Harvey addresses social justice and space. And finally, as Susan Feinstein stresses city government system shaping environments that enable social inclusion, justice, and care. Let's go to uh, some theoretical arguments again. And urban regeneration is defined as comprehensive and integrated vision and action which seeks to resolve urban problems and bring about a lasting improvement in the economy, physical, social, and environmental condition of an area that has been subject to change or offers opportunities for improvement. And I'd like to talk a little bit about why do we need to consider ethical concern issues in urban regeneration. Uh, dealing with urban regeneration projects raises some ethical issues uh, because planning processes always involve ethical judgments concerning their adaptability and relevance to communities' needs. So planning is therefore a fundamental ethical activity because it involves dilemmas regarding what should be done, for and by whom, and what the benefits and losses are. And there are two theoretical arguments, and one uh, comes from the modernist planning tradition, and according to this tradition, and planning knowledge is usually considered more scientific and objective and thus has more power to affect the spatial organization of human activities. By contrast, uh, residents' awareness and empowerment approaches uh, stresses the actual fact that residents have become aware of issues of justice, equality, and fairness, and connected them to the planning themes discussed in the meetings is the act of empowerment. So we can you know, contrast these two you know, approaches. And I'm going to apply uh, these two later. Well, we have a legal definition in Korea stressing economic, social, physical, and environmental improvement by focusing on declining urban areas due to population decrease changes in industrial structure, urban sprawl, and deterioration of housing conditions. Um, all the basic ideas have not changed. The current Moon Jae-in government renamed it uh, by using New Deal. If we look at the background of urban regeneration in Korea, there is an issue of population decrease According to Chris data, um, almost 40% in total towns may disappear in the next 30 years. I know that Japan is facing a very similar uh, problem. And here is the map of population dec decline uh, prediction. And so besides my soul areas, Oh, okay. And besides Nassau areas, and you'll be able to see 
the columns and then pointing population decline. Because I'm going today, because I'm going to uh, focus on Gangneung area, and then I will uh, point out Gangneung here. The Seoul is located here, so it's like kind of in a two hours driving from Seoul to Gangneung. There are two urban regeneration of projects going on in Gangneung. And one is Jungjin, lighthouse area, and the other one is Okchungdong, old downtown area. And if you go to Jungjin, there is very old and cozy and beautiful uh, lighthouse. That's why it has a new name, Jungjin Lighthouse Area. And it, the area is designated in 2015, and uh, the project cost uh, uh, around you know, two or uh, six million US dollars, and major projects uh, are concerned with security, um, sanitation, human care, housing rearrangement, and residence improvements. By contrast, Okchungdong Old Downtown Area was selected last year, but the final revitalization plan was confirmed this year in August, and. The amounts would be around you know, 25 or million US dollars. And many of projects are related to revitalization of old downtown, job creation, neighborhood improvement. So these two projects are quite you know, different in terms of you know, project concentration. And this is the general um, project uh, concept in Jinmunjin, Lighthouse area because you may not be familiar with this area, I'm going to show you some pictures and photos. And here, this is the result of housing a renewal project. And Jungunjin is really hilly and steep, and because it has a lighthouse at the top. And so the second photo shows the general view. Well, in Korean uh, urban regeneration projects, community center is really significant. And in Jinmunjin too, uh, the community center was constructed this year. But because of, of land purchase problems, um, the uh, construction has been delayed. And I already mentioned that Jinmunjin area is very hilly, so you'll be able to see supporting bars wherever you go to a lighthouse in an area. In fact, Pamukjan is living in Jinmunjin, but not in a lighthouse area, so he can see sunrise every morning from his apartment and then love to post the pictures in his face. And uh, this is some programs advertised. And I'm going to move to Okchundong, or downtown area. This is the general uh, project proposal. And uh, this project just began this year, so not, much, not many things I have done uh, so far. But these are uh, three warehouses which will be converted into uh, artificial um, activities. If you happen to have a chance uh, at the conference, and if you go to Pier 2 in Kaohsiung, and you'll be able to see very similar uh, urban renewal projects. And stone, some stone walls will be conserved and there are some narrow roads uh, with lots of problems, so uh, quite a number of money will be invested uh, for that. And the left side measures in the commercial areas, and that will be uh, converted to create uh, more jobs. And, but because of time limitation, I don't want to go in detail. And if I look at uh, ethical consideration and in terms of the you know, professional planning approach, 
I could find the three actors involved. The first one was the, the, the public officials who are working for Gangnam city government. And the second one is the group of planners. Okay. And they are um, working for private companies. And the city government has a contract with them. But they are the ones who actually you know, write uh, proposals. And then the third one is implement implementers and who are hired. Uh, and I compared uh, two areas in terms of um, three actors, if you look at officers, and they are still very much physically planning oriented and male dominated, and then planners, and they didn't actually perform uh, very nice in this area of research. If you look at the option dome, uh, these problems became more serious. And then I wrote in a copy other plans because um, the private company who wrote the uh, planning proposal and copied the other areas in the planning. So it's like a copy paste, copy paste, so which was really unethical. And in terms of the implementers, um, in Chumunjin, two persons were involved, but the outcome uh, was not really good. But uh, by contrast, the option though, like, they are not really in the higher debt because it's the beginning stage. Well, if we look at residents' awareness approach, um, I can point out the three elements and the first one is communication with residents in planning phase, and in both areas, residents were passively involved, and then information was not well uh, delivered. Um, in terms of residents organizations, and in Okchongdong, and the, it's not organized yet. Uh, it, finally, in terms of the resident empowerment, we are getting worried about that, so um, because of, of time, the minute, I'm going to move to conclusion. And so, I like to conclude by saying that uh, I could see uh, problems both in professionals and residents, and because of that, the role of implementers or intermediate organizations are crucial. All right, thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you very much, Dr. This presentation is open for discussion. Uh, just wonder when you actually perform, perform urban regeneration projects, do, do issues arise or do conflicts or tensions arise between preserving cultural or historical structures and heritage like the stone walls, and of course improving accessibility or you know improving the quality of these <coughs> roads or lanes, for, for instance? Previously, um, the main focus of our urban renewal was very much in the physical and then they didn't really concern about the physical or inheritance or whatever. But in urban regeneration, it is more focused on comprehensive planning, including you know, physical, economic, and cultural, and everything. But the Korean government seems to be very much interested in creating jobs, and which is a little bit you know, different from Western uh, style of urban regeneration. Um, Manja, your talk has some parallels with my one about foreign aid, in which I talked about the distinction between the large centralised bureaucratic structures and regimes of aid and the local focused ones in the villages. Um, can you talk perhaps a little bit about how you might envisage that there could be improved dialogue at the local level with the residents? How could this be done better? Yeah. Well, by urban regeneration projects, we are moving mm -hmm. from central government oriented urban planning to local oriented. So we are in the process because the Korean government realized that 
just by depending on central government's efforts, and we cannot solve the real problems in areas, and that's really a big in a paradigm shift. But uh, there, and there are you know, reasonable variances in Korea, and in some areas there are very strong residents movement, but mostly in uh, problem in areas in in areas of urban regenerations, there are not uh, many movements going on. So that makes quite a serious problems to uh, to appreciate our uh, residents you know, to be involved in this kind of you know, urban regeneration. Would anyone else like to make a comment or ask a 